Today I'm going to show you how I did a DIY on this very cute mermaid outfit. So please stay tuned. Welcome to The Bold Encourager, I'm Rebecca. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything. It just allows for me to get my positive, encouraging, and fun messages out to everyone. So we're gonna take a little break from when my mom came and made Korean food for a week because Halloween is approaching and I wanted to do something fun for you guys because I know you probably missed my DIY videos, but we will continue the Korean cooking either next week or in a couple weeks. Today we're going to be making this mermaid outfit. I had a lot of fun putting it together. I wanted to do something that was cute, affordable, and perfect for just going over to a friend's house. We're just going to do karaoke and a dress up. It was just like a character dress up. So nothing crazy, no partying or anything like that. So I wanted to do a, an outfit that wasn't going to cost a lot. There was also going to be a contest at my work that I wanted to be a part of. So I didn't need to do anything too crazy and a lot of Halloween costumes are very expensive. So I decided I'm gonna make my own Halloween costume and honestly I prefer to make my own Halloween costumes for the very fact that the ones that you get at the store end up not being very nicely made anyway and they cost a lot. They're usually at $50 or more to get a decent costume. So I always like making my own costumes anyway. So let's watch how I made this very cute outfit and let me know what you think. So I used um, this old bikini top to make the top, the seashell top. It's just um, something I'm gonna put over a tank top. I didn't wanna wear just the bikini top since I'm going to a friend's house and I just thought it would be a lot more comfortable. So I just put a bunch of seashells on this bikini top and just glued it all on. I ended up taking the seashells that are on that strap part that goes on the back off because it wouldn't clasp together. So I don't recommend putting it on that area because then it's really hard to close um, that uh, bikini top if you leave the seashells there. So it ended up working out perfectly. This is what it looks like. It's really super cute and it worked for my costume. So now we're gonna make the mermaid tail apron. It was the easiest way to do this without it being uncomfortable to wear. So I had a piece of fabric that was an apron size and basically I just folded in the middle so I could draw the fins. Yeah, these are not the most perfect fins, so maybe you can draw better ones, but this is my way of doing it. And so I was going to cut the bottom of this so that it has a split so that I could put on some fins. And so I used this decorative mesh that I got at the Dollar Tree. All these items that I got that was extra that I didn't have, I went at the got at the Dollar Tree. And so I just measured everything out to match and glue, hot glue everything on uh, to this fabric. And so I just kind of measured it out and cut it perfectly and then just hot glued everything on and let it dry uh, to where it stuck very well on there. And I basically was just looked for material that looked a lot like scales. This is the best I could find at the Dollar Tree. I didn't want to spend a lot of money. So I just cut everything to fit on this piece of fabric so it could symbolize a tail. And then I wanted to cover all the bases till I got to the very end where it would have that fins kind of, you know, style at the very end. I spent about $5 on the extra items that I got. A lot of the other stuff that I have, um, I already had. So as far as like the wig, you can get that probably online for a very affordable price. I also had, a, you know, obviously the black shirt that I wore underneath the seashell top. And then the seashells you can also get at the Dollar Tree, but I already had those. But obviously those are not gonna cost very much either. So that's why this is super affordable. And this is where I'm basically cutting 
the edge off to where it has fins on the apron so that it would give that finishing look. So I just glued the, the little fins on the end of the apron to give it a look of kind of like a tail. <laughs> and this is the top part that I glued a ribbon on so I could tie the apron around my waist. So I just got ribbon, basically measured my waist and then hot glued it at the top. And then I wanted to have a little bit of a decorative style. So I got these faux looking uh, diamonds. They're not real diamonds, obviously, at the Dollar Tree. And just put it at the top of the apron and the bottom of the apron. And there you go. It's finished. It was easy to make. It's as good as you can get with spending about $5, right, uh, on materials. And here I have my beautiful mermaid fins. And this is the finishing look. See, it was super easy. It wasn't that hard to make this. I did have to do a few tries because I wasn't sure how to execute it. But once I figured out how to execute it, it didn't take very long to make this outfit. I love this outfit. I think it's cute. You know what I love about it is it doesn't have to be sexy. <laughs> a lot of times we think, for girls at least, we have to dress sexy on Halloween and we don't have to do it. I mean, if you want to, that's fine. But for me, I've been, I want to bring cuteness back. I want to bring the cute Halloween costumes back because we often just feel like we have to be a certain way on Halloween and we don't have to be that way. We can have fun with it. I always love the Little Mermaid. That's why I chose this character. And yes, it's not exactly like the Little Mermaid. The tail and everything's a lot different. This is not, you know, purple, whatever but I wanted to make it my own. And that's what I do with any time I make a costume. I make it my own because it makes it more fun and it's not to be just like whoever you're trying to be like. Uh, it's always better when it is unique, right? So this was a fun costume to put together. I hope you really enjoyed watching me put it together. Um, please go ahead, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you haven't followed me on social media, please follow me on social media. The links are down below. And every Friday at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I will post a new fun video and you don't want to miss it. So go ahead and hit that notification bell. Well, I hope you have an amazing day and I hope you stay encouraged. Mm -hmm.